it's it's amazing. It's uh, it deserves a Newberry Medal. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Hi, so <laughs> this is my second bookshelf, and in a second I'm going to show you my bookshelf section by section, but this is kind of like my reading nook, and I have like this bean bag, and I read here sometimes, sometimes I just read up in my bed, even though I have this, it's perfect for me to read in. Basically, I have organized this kind of color-wise, so like these are all warm colors, these are all cool colors. This is all um, like black or dark colors. Those are all white or like lighter colors. And then down here is kind of different, which I'll talk about later. But I'm gonna show you guys this, but first I have to move this. So, so basically, this is my like kind of white or light colored section. And I kind of tried to put it like blue to red and orange, but you can't really see that, like kind of rainbow, but white. But yeah, anyways, so I'm not really going to talk about every single book in all the sections, but you guys can kind of see what books are on here if you want to. And one book is The 21 Balloons, which I did a book review on. I really enjoyed it, and now my brother is reading it, um, and he's slowly ruining it, because <laughs> he just slowly ruins all the books that he reads. And then over here, these aren't really like light colored, but there was nowhere else to put them, so I just put them here. And these books are both graphic novels, and they're both by Jen Wong. And I um, met Jen Wong at 2019 BookCon, and I got a um, autograph right here. And I really liked both of these books, and I really like her like drawing style. It's really cute, and I don't know, I just love her like graphic novels. Okay. So this is my um, like red, orange, yellow, and a little bit of green section. And again, you guys can see the books if you want. But um, these two books are both by Linda Sue Park. And then she also has another book that I read called A Single Shard, which was my 100th book for the um, 100 Books in 2018 Challenge. This is the 100th book in my 100 Books in 2018 Challenge. Today I am reviewing a Single Shard by Linda Sue Park. So Linda Sue Park is a Korean author and this book doesn't really have anything to do with Korea, but this book has a lot of Korean history in it, which is why I got it because I want to learn more about Korean history. And then A Single Shard also has a lot of Korean culture, Korean history, and things like that in it. And I kind of saw that when I read it. Plus, I'm going to be reading this book soon. So let me know if you guys want like a book review or something of this book. So here's a Roald Dahl book, and here's another one. Oh, oh, here's another one. Whoa, that's crazy. So Roald Dahl, if you guys don't know who he is, you probably do, but he's a um, children's writer, author, and he's written a lot of really good books like James and the Giant Peach, The Twits, um, also the BFG, um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. This is the second book, Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator, and... Oh, Matilda, yeah. Um, and he's written a lot of different, like, good ch uh, children's books. And I love all of them. And he was one of my, like, childhood, um, like, authors. One last thing that I want to talk about in this section is um, The Lemonade War, which is a book that I read when I was, like, in fourth grade or something like that, when I was in elementary school. And I really love this book now more than before because I, I feel like this is like such a, like a childhood book and I remember it. I remember reading it and it's such like a summertime kind of book and I remember loving this book. That's why I just had to like include it. Moving on. Um, and this book is The Mysterious Benedict Society and The Perilous Journey, which is the second book. And I read the entire series. I read the first one I got at the library and I read this one here and then I read the rest. I think there's like five books or four books. And I read those at the library and I really love this series. It's like so, I don't know, it, I feel like it was everything that I, I was looking for in a book when I was like in elementary school. And it was like fun and it was like mis mystery, but it was like, 
kind of adventurous, and that's I think that's why I really like this book. Plus, all the main characters were all kids, so I could kind of be like going on the adventures with them, if that makes sense. Oh, so this book is called Masterminds by Gordon Corman, and then there's also Restart by Gordon Corman. And Gordon Corman is a middle grade author, and he writes a lot of middle grade books like Restart. There's also Slacker. Oh, it says right there. Swindle, and then the Mastermind series, which was actually recommended to me. And I read the entire series, and I really loved it. It was, like, so interesting. And it was, like, it was, like, one of those good middle grade books that kind of have a lot of twists, and they're not, like, super easy. And it was one of those, so I really liked it. Let me check if there's any books. Oh. So these two books are both by Hannah Khan, which is an another author that I met at BookCon. And I got this book signed. And I actually already read this book on Kindle, but I decided to get the book again just to get it signed. And I wanted like a paper copy of it. And I actually got this one before it was released, I believe. So that's kind of cool. Um, I really like the covers for both of them, but I also really like the stories. They were all inspiring in a way, and they were all really cute. And then Daddy Long Legs, which is a, is it a classic? Yeah, this is a classic. And it's about this orphan girl, and she gets sponsored by this man, and she writes letters to him, as seen in the picture. Um, I, I read this book like a long time ago. I should probably reread it at some point, but I remember liking this book. It was fun. Moving on. Oh. So moving on to all of my like black books plus these two, two, yeah, this is two, um, which we're gonna talk about later. <sighs> which one should I talk about? Oh, these. This one. So these three are all um, horror books. But I want to talk about especially this one because this is by Mary Downing Hand, which I don't read that many books of now, but I used to love it back, love this author back in 2018 and 2019. And I'm thinking about like kind of revisiting this author because they were like my favorite scary story author. Now I don't read that many like horrors, but they were my favorite scary story author. Next is Hobbit which I love this book a lot and I think I tried to read it one year but it was like too hard for me so then what I did was I read the graphic novel first and then I read this book which made a lot more sense to me after I read the graphic novel first and I like really enjoyed this book because it's Hobbit. Um, we also watched the Hobbit movies they're actually three parts and we only watched two of them so far but the Hobbit is really good i highly recommend it if you haven't read it yet it's a it's a fantasy and i absolutely love it and then mrs per peregrine's home for peculiar children which isn't coming out please come out hi please i really need to thank you oh no i'll fix that later i'll fix that later a few moments later this book is jesse the reader's favorite book um, I really need to read the other parts in the series, but I haven't gotten to that yet. But there are like five other books, I think, or like four other books. And I really need to read them because I love this book. Okay, oh, now I'll try to get this back. I'll fix that later. So before I talk about these books down here, I want to talk about a little bit about what's over here, which is... a ukulele that is my mom's but i stole it um and i'm learning it right now and then there's this um fake violin which is uh and then over here Pokemon binders that me and Rian have and we used to like collect Pokemon cards even though we'd never actually play it So there's like a ton of them in here And what I'm really waiting for is for all of these to become really rare so I can sell them <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's what these are Okay, so the next section is these um, books right here that I just very gracefully dropped all of them 
uh, before. But these are all of like my favorite books as a kid. Like these are the books that I would read the most and the ones that like I remember the most. And this is a collection of Korean and American books. So starting from the top, this one, it's If You Pick Your Nose. And it's like a picture book, but I believe it was like made in clay. And it talks about what happens if you pick your nose. It was really funny. And oh yeah, this is an example. If you keep picking your nose, this is what happens. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Next book is Where the Wild Things Are. And this book you guys probably know about. It's a um, really popular kids book. Looks like this. And this book, I not only like love the idea of like the story, but I also really like the illustrations. They're like really cute. Um, and this book, I think most people like read as a kid. Next book is this book. Um, it's nice. It is nice to be different. Or, 달라서 좋아요. 달라서 좋아요. And it's about this circle and this triangle and their friends. And it's nice to be different, <laughs> apparently. And it's about this like circle and this triangle and their friends because they help each other because they're different. It's nice to be different. And it had like a good message, you know? This is really cute. Next, oh my God. I, this was like my favorite book as a kid. I just remember this being my favorite book. And it's Mary and the Mouse, The Mouse and Mary. And I don't know if this is like a popular book or not, but basically it's about Mary and a mouse and they live in the same house. And one day like Mary finds the mouse as you can see and it shows like what each of them do every day and then what happens is mary goes off to college and then she has a daughter and she moves into a different house and then the mouse also has a daughter and they like kind of move to a different house kind of and then mary's daughter and the mouse's daughter meet that's what this book is about and i don't know why but i just love this book so much the next one is the lion and the mouse i apparently have an obsession with mice because there's a lot of mice book. So it's about how kind of like the mouse actually does repay the lion for not eating them. And there's no um, words in this book, as you can see, except like like um, sounds, like screech, like squeak, 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 like sounds like that. Um, but there's no actual like the words besides that kind of stuff. And it's really cute and I liked it probably be I probably liked it because I didn't have to read it <laughs> um I probably the reason why I like art so much is probably because I read so many like picture books and like like stuff like that and I just was like I want to do that the next three are in a series and these books I read a lot as well I'm gonna show you so apparently the original author is Japanese, but these are translated into Korean. And these are a uh, hundred stories. Um, so this one's a hundred stories up. This one's a hundred stories down. And this one is a hundred stories in the water. And I was also obsessed with these books. So what these books were is they open this way. And each um, page was like a lot of these like floors and it talked a little bit about like what people say in them and stuff and it's about this guy who was just climbing up all of them and i think i also like this book because there was not that much to read <laughs> um i also i think it's just because like the the pictures are so cute in all of them and each like t each 10 stories is about like one specific animal so these are all squirrels this is all frogs this is all ladybugs and i don't know why i just love this book so much this book was probably like a trick to get kids to learn their numbers but i just loved it like so much like look how cute it is so next i'm going to show you both of these sections at once because they're pretty similar most of these sections are all korean um picture books oh uh, except for these two and these two and a couple of these over here so i'm not going to show you that many but you can see them here and here and then most of these over here i believe are eric carl books like is this one an eric carl book okay so there are a couple books in here that i want to talk about for example this book is about poop basically 
and it's about this like mole and someone pooped on his head and he's trying to figure out who did it it's, it's amazing it's uh it deserves a newberry medal <laughs> <laughs> anyways um and then there's this book which is chemin de olgur and it talks about like emotions so it's like scared angry and stuff like that and then at the end there's a mirror and you oh that's me because you're supposed to like put your face there Quintana. oh this had a song Quintana. yeah this had a song there's a cd and we play it in the car i think and um it's about this girl and it's it's Quintana. if you get stabbed with the porcupine and basically kintana means it's okay kintana means it's okay so there would be song with it and stuff so the last book that i want to talk about in this section is kurumpang which is cloud bread I, I just i think i like this one because of the pictures like look at how cute they are so this section is mostly blue books because we have so many blue books that we couldn't fit it in the section up here so these are all kind of like they're kind of all different like they're scattered around so like these are mostly like ya books and stuff like that so there's like these aren't ya awkward and diary and then there's like siren which i did a buddy read on with um coley reads and xx pastella x um, and I enjoyed it. And then there's also David Arnold books, Kids of Appetite and Mosquito Land. I think I got Mosquito Land at like used books or like thrift store or somewhere like that. So I don't know how to explain it, but I feel like these books are like in the same genre somehow. But these books, these three, the, the Little Book of Relaxation, The Little Book of Positivity and 365 Days of Wonder um, all have like quotes in them, which is I don't know, I had this phase where I just loved books with quotes and I'm also planning on like kind of reading these books again soon. Let's move on. So this section is probably the least organized in all of the sections that I've showed you so far in this bookshelf and the bookshelf over there. These are all kind of like craft or like um, activity or like art books. So there's a lot of books about like, for example, there's Mastering Manga with Mark Crilly. I used to watch a lot of art YouTube and I have like two or three of these like manga or like drawing how to draw books. And then I have things like, I have two hand lettering books and then there's some origami books and like origami and like paper crafts and stuff like that. Oh yeah, this is like my favorite because it's had like the cutest little crafts, for example. Look at those! Oh, now I want to make these! Like these? Oh my god, these are so cute. Like the, um, like chopstick holders and stuff. I'm just gonna put that over here so that I can remember to make them later. <laughs> and then there's this, which is a book with like a lot of different poems in it, and mine also happens to be in there. And then I have over here, I have this Korean idiom, idiomatic expressions. Um, I got this book in Korea and it's all about these expressions like, uh, for example, 날아갈 것 같다, which means, it, well, the actual, like the real meaning of it is like um, to feel like you're flying away or like I think I want to fly away. But the actual way that people use it is that they're really happy. And it has like a ton of those and I started like studying these but I didn't really study that many so I might do that later. Yeah. Huh? So, so that's it and I don't really know if you guys are gonna find this interesting like I don't know how to be interesting so just pretend that this is extremely funny. <laughs> um, but that is my bedroom bookshelf and my um, filming area bookshelf tour all complete i hope you guys enjoyed um like this video if you liked it subscribe for more content like this and happy reading